Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video and today what we are going to be going over is going to be none other than a legendary version of the Love Drill Pistol. Uh, the legendary version of this acquired from the uh, Eleanor or the Heart and the Heart's Desire, the last boss in the Gunslam Tentacle DLC. Uh, this gun uh, has a 20% chance to deal double damage, uh, shock damage, and this thing has an insane amount of amped crit damage. Uh, you can basically look at this thing as a better version of the Trick Unforgiven, uh, as the Unforgiven doesn't have... Uh, I mean, the Unforgiven has that real slow fire speed, while the Love Drill does not have a... The Love Drill's fire speed is way faster than some like the Unforgiven here, as you can see. And I uh, definitely feel the difference there, uh, for sure. Uh, the dam the multiplier uh, on the crit is not nearly as high, but it's still relatively respectable at almost 285%. Uh, reload speed is pretty solid. Uh, melee damage is kind of redundant with this type of setup. Uh, 72 base, I mean, 7200 base damage, uh, which is pretty uh, respectable. And uh, yeah, we have 300%, uh, which I feel like 300% on this gun would be really good to take to just like rip through trash tier mobs. But I mean, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we do have cryo and radiation ASCs due to our Hunter Seekers and our plus Ultra Shield. Along with that, we do have a beautiful stack bot for Jacob's pistols, Jacob, uh, weapon crit, Jacob's weapon crit, and pistol damage along with our Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge with max size and reload speed. That's a really nice little combo, obviously. And then here is our stalker tree, pretty standard stalker tree. We do love to run it like that. Uh, our hunter tree, only one in the leave no trace. Uh, we're, we're straight, we're straight. You know, uh... Nah, dude, we'll, we'll, we'll live with the one. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh, and then here is our Master Tree. Uh, we do have three in the pack tactics just because of our calm, which is pretty nice. And then we have four into Frenzy. Hive Mind, uh, who rest you to all that good jazz. Uh, yeah, we are going to be running three shot fadeaway. So, yeah. Anyways, though, guys, with all that stuff being said, uh, if y'all do, uh, you know, enjoy the video, make sure to, uh, you know, drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new on the road to 6K subs. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead, hop right into the video. Okay, guys, so we uh, decided to go ahead and head over to the uh, Slaughter Star, uh, you know what I'm saying. Do not really come over here all that often, but, you know, figured we could uh, mix it up and, you know, just have a head over here. You know what I'm saying? Nice little change of pace. Uh, I do think this will be a pretty decent uh, weapon at taking out trash tier mobs. Uh, fast since we are since we are using 300 uh, percent we definitely want to max out our two fang for sure for sure but uh yeah dude, we're just gonna put in some work uh obviously we will take this thing into the uh, malawan takedown later on uh see how this thing does against our good old pal wokton smokton and uh yeah dude we're just going to uh we'll spend a little bit a little bit of time over here just a little bit not not gonna be here too too long uh because we will head over to the guardian takedown see how it does against some of the some of the more more tougher enemies than some uh, Malawan troops, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> As I, uh, I get sat down. <laughs> I feel like maybe consecutive hits would be a little bit better. Uh, I always think that like 390 is now an anointment that's only good on very certain weapons like uh, r rockets, I feel like it's its best. Uh, m maybe a monocle or an unseen threat could be really good or a face puncher, but that's that's about it for like top tier 300% guns I can think of uh, at the top of my head. Uh, so obviously something like a pistol, I would definitely prefer to have like in seconds or something like that. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and just uh, we'll, oh excuse you, oh uh, yeah, sit down, homie. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and head over to the uh, Gargant Takedown. So yeah, I'll see y'all over there. Okay, so we are over here um, on the uh, Guardian Takedown side of things. Now, uh, at the time of recording this video, you guys, it is uh, Halloween. Uh, I think I'll post this uh, the day after I record it though. So, you know, I, I, at this point that y'all be watching it, y'all would have, uh, you know, Halloween would have passed, you know what I'm saying? If y'all, I hope y'all did have a good Halloween, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all, everyone was safe if you went trick-or-treating, you know what I'm saying? Hope you got some, uh, awesome candy, good candy, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hope you got some full-size chocolate bars, some full-size Milky Ways, full-size Twix, full-size Three Musketeers, full-size Snickers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I am a huge sucker for chocolate and caramel. I feel like chocolate and caramel is a match made in heaven that everybody deserves to experience in life. Uh, so yeah, that's why I listen a lot. I, I love chocolate, especially and caramel, dude. So yeah, what can I say? Uh, but yeah, dude. Uh, yo, November is going to be a pretty big month for your boy. 
uh, obviously, um, November is my birthday month, and uh, we have quite the amount of stuff going down um, in November with, you know, obviously Beyond Light, the new uh, skill trees and the arms race, and the fifth DLC for BL3. Um, my birthday, I, I just mentioned that as we fun. Uh, and then also the annual Destiny 2 raid race for, uh, for day one of the new raid. Uh, so we'll be doing all that prep work for because, you know, uh, I'm going to try to participate in uh, day one raiding, which will be super, super fucking fun. I cannot wait. That will actually take place uh, on my birthday of all dates. So, uh, yeah, dude, that's how I will be spending my day that day. My birthday, I will be spending it raid racing, and I am totally okay with that, dude. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, this gun, I, I said this gun would be good against trash tier mobs. And uh, these these aren't really trash tier mobs because you know they are they're a little tanky, and 300% uh, on a gun like this you know right now basically I'm like we're shooting this enemy with literally no annoyment right now because that 390 has been gone bro. Ever since, they they really should not have nerfed that 390 annoyment. I really feel like it would, it it really did not need a uh, nerfing to it. Uh, let's do let me switch this up to uh, the Maggie real quick. Let's see how uh, could, uh, the Maggie does in comparison, which. Uh, Obviously, the Maggie is definitely going to be way better than the Love Drill, uh, just because, you know, the Maggie do be a masher. It does have six uh, times six projectiles, which is definitely uh, obviously better than rocket single projectiles. Plus, you know, if you are running a multi-projectile weapon, you don't need to put those five points into two fang. You can put those five points into somewhere else. Maybe you want to max out your Leave No Trace. Maybe you want to get some more Rage and Recover. Maybe you want to get a little further down the blue tree. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I guess uh, we've we, we've seen what this thing can do um, over here uh, against some tougher tier enemies. This thing kind of is not quite able to. Uh, I mean, it can kill these enemies, obviously, but like you know, with top tier gear like this, you would expect it to do a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, dude, three hundred percent annoyment definitely is not that good on a on a Jacob's pistol uh, in the Guardian takedown for sure. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll just head on over to the uh, Malawan takedown instead. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. So we are over here now at the uh, Malawan takedown side of things, and uh, yeah, bro, we're we're gonna be uh, seeing this thing can do against some. Uh, you know, I I'm not gonna lie, dude. I recorded, started recording this video, and I knew this gun wasn't going to be, like, jaw-droppingly impressive. Especially coming off of something like, uh, the, the, uh, the buff call showcase video that we did yesterday. That, uh, yeah, them calls definitely put in some, uh, respectable work for show, for show, for show. Uh, but yeah, dude. Uh, I feel, you know, it's, it's still good always to, you know, showcase guns, uh, just, you know, people that people don't use and stuff like that. I always just, the more the merrier, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to have a decent library library on the channel and stuff like that uh for sure you know also i gotta give a huge shout out to the homie uh boston fan uh he's been uh kind of helping your boy out a little bit recently as well uh for hooking us up with this love drill for uh almost forgot to mention that in the earlier portion of it but uh yeah just had to give a shout out to the homie you know what i'm saying okay all right kraken now i figured that uh this kraken might pose a little bit of a uh <laughs> some issues along with wotan himself uh, just because you know we will not be able to we're not we will not be using this really with any annoying whenever uh we are sh okay well you know i guess that works too <laughs> like, you know that radiation ac do be kind of helping out sometimes <laughs> excuse me valks but uh okay mad ricochet i see you uh, that whenever we get some like uh, whenever we get the shots to double uh, on the shock and fade away, dude, uh, those can do some uh, massive, massive damage, which is pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? This thing does do a uh, really high amounts of crit damage, which is very, very nice. Definitely better than the trick Unforgiven. Uh, I really, re really only hold this gun out for like certain builds, so like we're running 390s with like AOEs and shit across the board. And uh, I usually use it for crit swapping, but like this, the love drill can actually kill things by itself without shooting hella slow. Okay, y'all, so now we're over here at the bridge side of things. And, uh, yeah, you know, good old Malawan takedown, bro. I uh, I feel like as time has gone on, uh, like, if we rank some of the best content that the, uh, Borderlands is, like, uh, Borderlands 3 is offered, I feel like the Malawan takedown definitely ranks up there as the best, uh, like, top, like, did I just get bounced off the map? Okay, well, that's a first. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that was a little, uh, a little bit of an oopsie there, Daisy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all good, dude. Also, guys, uh, we recently did get some of the. Uh, actually, I think we got all the new class mods uh, revealed to us yesterday. 
Uh, they're pretty insane. They look to be relatively pretty insane, dude. Uh, especially like Flax. Flax new calm is going to allow us to double dip our capstone. Uh, and it basically is going to have like a pet, like our pet be able to like auto attack uh, without actually using the pet command, which is pretty cool, I guess. But uh, I think the best part of that class mod is going to be able to double dip into a capstone. Basically, dude, uh, if y'all don't know about uh, Flax Purple Tree and like what his capstone does, it basically allows for you to uh, double your shield. Uh, combine that with some of the shield restore perks inside of uh, that tree as well, which is really, really good. You're going to be able to uh, get that time. You're going to be able to like double dip into that. So you'll be able to put two skill points into one capstone and get 200% extra shield. And there's a shield in arms race, guys, that has over 100k base shield. So, I do, 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 dude, there's going to be some fun new flag builds, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm I'm gonna be so overworked come November 10th and 11th and that entire the entire month of November, bro. I'm gonna I might try and like shoot for like 50 or something videos uh, that next month. So yeah, just you guys be prepared. If if, if it goes down, it, it's gonna it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be pretty uh, insane next week, or well not next week. I mean the week you know what i'm saying the 10th like a little under two weeks about 10 days from now when y'all see this because it should be this video should be going up on the first of november so yeah dude yo this guy being is is not being cool bro by uh being immune to cryo it, dude it, it, we are just so close to so much hype stuff right now plus you know holiday season christmas and a lot of people love christmas who doesn't love christmas man football season dude it's a good time of year uh even though this is 2020 so you know any good time of year can be kind of thrown off whack by some, you know, anything. Because, you know, 2020 do be like that. But, uh, yeah. Guys, let's go ahead cut it over to uh, the Mochan Smochan, and I'll see y'all over there. Okay. So, now that we're here at the Wotan Smochan Smackdown, dude, uh, we might have to call in some backup with uh, our Hellwalker or Maggie or something like that. Because I know for a fact this thing is not a bossing weapon at all. Because, you know, it's a love drill. It do be like that. Gonna have to call. Gonna have to call in some reinforcements, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We also did go ahead and throw back on a corrosive ASC uh, because you know Wotan do be resisting cryo because I don't know. He just he just built like that, bro. He doesn't like ice cream. What can I say? <laughs> so yeah, we got to give him that uh, corrosion motion uh, in motion. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, dude. Um, I gotta be honest. This thing's kind of performing a little bit better than I thought. That might be because of our uh, hunter seekers do. Kind of wrecked face, which is awesome. I'm so glad th that these hunter grenades got buffed, dude. For months, I literally just used the mitosis hunter seeker grenades as just a way to proc my pearl, not to actually do damage. I was like, oh wait, now these things can actually uh, kill things. I went the total wrong way. I should have just uh, gone the opposite direction. <laughs> uh, hold that, and then I'm going to get a shock shot or not. That sucks. That's no good. We're gonna spawn in Thor's. We're gonna spawn in Thor's. I can see it happening. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Come on, Love Drill. Dude, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Come on. Wow, that's. Uh, that was. That was a little, uh, little, little sauce right there, dude. Uh, wow. Um, okay. I'm going to shoot that flamethrower guy. I'm going to go invis, and I'm not going to get slapped by Wotan's face. Come on. Why does this dude always seem to jump on my head? <laughs> I swear. Uh, let me go back inside of Fadeaway. Hold that secret grenade. You know, we're going to shoot the top half, bro, because at least this thing doesn't have any... No, fuck it. I'm, I'm just... I'm changing up on the fly, bro. I'm changing up on the fly. Sit down. Okay. Or not. Run away. You've changed. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I knew this thing wasn't much of a, uh, a bossing gun, dude. What? Stinger? Die? Like, what? <laughs> Hello? Oh, man. This thing feels like we're shooting a potato. Alright. We're gonna call in the reinforcements. Maggie, uh, I choose you. I choose you. Dude, 
Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks. It's all good, dude. I can second window photon with our Maggie because it's it's definitely better than the love drill. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's to be expected, guys. Uh, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If y'all did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your love and that like button. Uh, and subscribe if y'all are new. We're on the road to 6,000 subs. So, yeah, if y'all like Deadly Borderlands 3, uh, yeah, we do do that on this channel. So, make sure to subscribe, homies. But, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead. Uh, let me just get rid of this Kraken uh, real quick. And then I'll just go ahead and show y'all the uh, setup one more time. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the video right uh, right there. So, like, let's look at the setup real quick. Uh, once again, the love drill uh, that we do have is 300%. Has 20% chance to, to deal double damage as shock with a high crit, uh, crit damage multiplier, which is really, really nice. Cryo, and then we had Radiation Corrosive, Mind Toes with Hunter Seekers. We had the Spur with Max Size and Weapon Reload Speed. Stack Bot with Pistol and Jacob's Weapon Crit. Uh, really, really solid. Um, then here is our Hunter Trait. Only one to leave no trace. Felt like that was pretty solid. Uh, two in second attention would felt pretty nice as well. Um, and then here's our Stalker Trait with Max uh, and Machine. Uh, and then here is our Master Trait. Guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop your uh, load the like button and subscribe if you want to be. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all. Then the next one. Peace out, everybody.